It is an ordinary looking Air Force building hidden in the farmlands. Below it is something very few of us get to see, the people who control our most powerful weapons, the nation's nuclear missiles. On this side we receive messages. Sitting in front of what can hardly be described as state of the art looking computers, two airmen stand by ready every second of every day. We are constantly improving our systems, uh, they are all, but they are 100% efficient. Down here, there's no Wi-Fi, no internet, and no hacking. From this console, the two control 10 of our country's 400 nuclear missiles. They look like this, but they're stored in launch facilities, which are essentially silos in the ground. These launch facilities are spread across the Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska state lines. Other groups are responsible for missile clusters in Minot, North Dakota, and a third near Great Falls, Montana. The missiles are here to deter other countries from attacking our allies or us. It comes from the president, it goes through a few different avenues before it gets to us. Before nuclear war, airmen must unlock this box. In it, top secret codes used to make sure a launch command is legit and a key needed as part of the process to arm and then send the missile into air. This is our, our enable panel. Two people, each using both hands, are required to give a launch command. As a safeguard, another crew must be doing the exact same thing in an identical capsule miles away. All right, on my count. Three, two, two one, keep turn. Within seconds, the missile silo door in a nearby field opens and the missile is on its way. This team launched an intercontinental ballistic missile last year just to prove the process works. It landed in the ocean without a nuclear warhead on board. Topside, military security forces are responsible for making sure no one or no country can physically get a hold of the missiles. This crew is training for a hostile takeover. It's very important because there's a nuclear weapon out here. So we have to ensure that our people can get out here in a timely manner and neutralize any threat that might come out here and try to attempt to take that weapon. Though a takeover hasn't ever occurred, the men methodically train as many as eight times a month, knowing full well that other countries would love to get their hands on our weapons. It's something that we should keep in mind, sir, that there, there is that threat and that possibility. Whether topside or below, all say their mission is not one that's publicized frequently, but they believe it is an essential part of keeping all of us safe.